Okay, this time this is going to be video 3 case series achieved question 3 A and B. And the first one is a fraction, even the second one is a little bit complex fraction. So, question number 3 A 2 over x plus x over 4 and I'm going to multiply I'm going to multiply these two you got to remember you have to multiply I've seen people adding because they get confused with that plus sign since they don't have much understanding about uh, factors uh, okay so 4x and then you cross multiply those two that will give you 8 plus x squared so uh, if I write it in a conventional way x squared plus 8 over 4x that's the best I can do second one uh, as I mentioned it's going to be a little bit more challenging 3 over x plus 3 okay same process multiply x plus 2 with x plus 3 and then cross multiply 4 times x plus 3 plus there is a plus sign in between 3 x plus 2 I mean, other teachers could be really critical about the way I am explaining the thing. Uh, we can go for the uh, common multiples and those sort of things. Uh, it will take a little bit longer explanation. I don't have time for that. So now I'm going to expand both top and bottom expressions 4x plus 12 plus 3x plus 3 times 2 is 6 so what I did I expanded those removed the brackets I expanded those removed the bracket and written that as an expression and then I'm going to apply the foil and going to expand it x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 and then I'm going to simplify it uh, 4x plus 3x that gives you 7x plus 12 plus 6 is 18 and then the bottom expression is x squared there is no like terms and if I add those two like terms that give you it gives you 5x plus 6. I don't think I can do better than that. I'll stop there and I'll come back with uh, merit and excellence questions later on. Thank you.